welcome to another vlog it's a thursday it feels very weird to be vlogging on a thursday but i'm doing something a little bit interesting maybe and it's just different this afternoon i thought why not vlog it so i've actually had a shower already done my exercise and i'm about to run off and do my groceries um, because it's something that i tend to do on a thursday morning before i start work it's kind of a new routine that i've gotten into since working from home during the pandemic and i really like it because it's quick and it means i don't have to worry about doing my groceries on the weekend or in the evenings after work when it's often very busy i've just picked up all my pumpkins because i'm also going to start uh botty on a little um mop cycle so that he can mop while i'm out although I do have a petition potentially to change Botty's name to Vac Efron. One of you guys suggested that Botty needed a cooler name and I kind of agree. I really didn't give it much thought. I just kind of thought robot, Botty for short, and that was kind of the extent of it. It was cute, easy to say, but I'm really digging Vac Efron as a name. So let me know if you think I should rename Botty to Vac Efron. I'm going to start him off and then get going and do my groceries. I was in and out in under an hour, which is why I love being able to smash my groceries out in the morning. I just unpacked and I need to get this all away so I can get my day started, but I thought I'd do like a rapid fire grocery haul. All this stuff here is um, Halloween goodies for potential trick-or-treaters, or it may end up being just for the family and my friends if we don't get trick-or-treaters, but I want to be prepared just in case. I'm really not sure what's going to happen with COVID. So all that, they were all half price. So I got a lot of Halloween bits. My own treats, I had to get more of the jelly tip chocolate. I'm addicted to this stuff. I always wish I didn't try it, but it's so good. It was on sale for a dollar off. So I grabbed two blocks. Uh, these are something I've never tried before, but these were on sale for half price and I thought that they could make a nice snack. So I got the oat slices in apple cinnamon and also choc chip. Wow, this seems so unhealthy already. <laughs> these are my favorite Tim Tams, the Murray River salted caramel, and these were on sale for half price. So I stocked up on those. I got some peckish, um, just cheddar air baked rice crackers. I really um, just like those again as a savory snack. Then I picked up a Emco Beauty Ultra Stay Flawless Foundation. I've seen a lot of this on Instagram so I wanted to give it a try. This was I think it's usually $26. It was on sale for $24. Um, they do usually do even better discounts. So if you wanted to try this, maybe hold out until there's a bit of a sale. Um, but it is available in Woolworths. I got half a butternut pumpkin, some cheese slices from Aldi, shredded chicken, some brioche burger buns because they're a treat for me. I love those. Oven baked Smith's chips because I really like those as well. Some peach iced tea from Aldi. That's pretty much all I drink outside of water. Um, some carrots, more of my food, Envy crepes, a zucchini because I've already got one in the fridge and some cucumbers which I usually buy like free rather than in a packet because I'd rather not get extra packaging and it's actually cheaper when you just buy them individually but they didn't have many of the individual ones and they felt really stale like they were really squishy so I got some cucumbers, more teen because I am running out and I hate bugs and then some garbage bags. These are the plant-based ones from Glad. I thought I'd give those a try. Little haul, that's a mixture of Aldi and Woolworths. And yeah, now I need to put this all away. No matter how old I get, apparently time management is just not 100% my thing. I'm rushing around, I've just done a face of makeup and I've changed, I know I alluded to it earlier, but this week I got a package. Hello. I didn't expect to be turning on the camera right now, but I just received a package and I think it's a kind of exciting one. So I thought why not turn the camera on and maybe we can open it together, share in the excitement. I'm pretty sure this is a product that I'm going to an event to celebrate the launch. And I haven't been to an event in a long time and I was thinking about maybe vlogging some of it if I can. So if I do, this will form part of that vlog. So let's open this together. Do, 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 do. 
Here's a note. You won't be able to read it, so I'll read it to you. Hello, we're excited to introduce to you some of the latest and greatest from Google. Our mission is to build a more helpful Google for everyone. And we believe that better and more helpful is when everything works together seamlessly. That is, devices are designed to connect, build on each other and help make your day easier and more fun. I mean, that sounds amazing. Yours sincerely, your Google family. Uh, it is, it is the Google Pixel 5G. Move that out of the way. Move this out of the way. I love, I love a new phone. I love new technology. Shall we do this together? Ready? One, two, three. So, so satisfying. Um, I don't want to touch the screen now. It's too pretty. It's too shiny. I'm going to, I'm going to need to set it up now. I never know how people film these unboxing videos and they just sort of go into it and like, but, but now I have to do stuff, but that was fun. <laughs> we have headphones and a charger and USB-C. I like that. And what I do love about the Google phones or all the ones that I've used, they come with a little dongle that allows you to plug in a USB cord. So if you happen to be transferring from a different type of phone, maybe one that their brand name is a fruit, uh, you're able to actually plug your cord that you would get from that company into this phone and it will literally transfer stuff from that phone into this phone. Even one is one operating system and one is another operating system, which I think is pretty cool. All right. I'm going to play around with this now. I've actually got to get back to work. It's the middle of the work day, but I just wanted to share this exciting um, little unboxing. It's exciting for me. I'm going to play around with this phone and I'll be sure to um, tell you more about it potentially later in this video. All right, cool. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to go. <laughs> and as you see, I'm very excited because I'm going to go and learn more about the Google Pixel 5. So I need to leave now. I'm going to grab my stuff and head on out and hopefully I'll be able to show you some more on the other side. I need to drive into the city, which is always an experience for me because I'm not great at it. So wish me luck. Pray to the navigation gods that I don't get lost. Several song filled hours later. I arrived. Wow. I'm so glad that I gave myself a little bit of extra time driving because I spent a good 15 to 20 minutes just doing loops right around the area because I couldn't quite find the location but I made it here now um, and I've just been sitting here because we can't like go in too early because we can't like cross over with people and trying to keep everybody separated and, and all that kind of stuff. I'm excited to see what, what we're going to do um, because this is this is very different to um, I guess how events like this would usually run um, so yeah I'm almost time I can almost go in let's see what see what this is all about it's an adventure I've got to think of more things like an adventure I get so anxious and nervous about them and I think if you just kind of go it's gonna be how it's gonna be and just treat it like fun um, put you in a better headspace or at least that's what I'm working with Hello. 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 Whoa. Welcome to your own personalized unboxing. Right? <laughs> That's really cool. And you spelt my name right, which I'm really <laughs> impressed with because so many people don't. <laughs> yeah, the ask Google, and it's uh, lucky and it so my name right? correct spelling. I should say this is Ben. Rob. Rob. <laughs> That's okay. You're the worst person in the world. Was anybody Ben at all? <laughs> and I've just gone on about how well you spelt my name and then I said your name wrong. This is Rob, which I should have got because Rob and Rachel make sense. Uh, this is cool. Pete, our safety marshal. Hi Pete. So Pete is going to be making sure that everything is nice and sanitized. Cool. So if we touch anything, he's going to make sure that it's all wiped down. So the person before and after you is always going to be nice and safe. Awesome. One of the best bits about a new phone is the unboxing. So we thought, why not make that on a grand scale? Yeah. So, I kind of filmed a little tiny unboxing before yeah. this. <laughs> well, now this is a bigger than real life. Yeah, so. this is... Can I go in here? Yeah, of course. So all, all right. the sets are yours to play with. Jump in, have fun, use the rat. This is a life size compared to, to me. That's really cool. So jump on, move around, whatever you like. I needed to pause the video for a second there because this is future editing, Rachel. Just letting you know that 
I'm not particularly great in front of the camera, especially when people are just taking photos of me. I mean, I do okay with the whole video thing, talking. I feel like it's a little bit more relaxed. I'm in control. You know, I feel like video is a little bit more forgiving. Photography is not, and I'm just not a photogenic person. You know when like there's a group photo and there's the one person with their eyes half shut or like their mouth open or they're looking funny? I am that girl all the time. So this was a very out of like my usual comfort zone experience being told to like move around and play with the set and I feel really bad because I made some awesome sets and I probably did not use them to their full potential in the way that some of the other Team Pixel people did. So um, I apologize for that, but I'm just, I'm really not great. Like I need a mirror or something so I know, otherwise what do you do with your hands when you, I, I don't. I need to be better. If anybody has some tips on how to pose for photos, I mean, I've watched so many TikTok videos and reels about like poses for Instagram. I, I can't get them. I'm just, it's just not a skill that I have. Okay, we can get back to the video now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. We've had the, uh, the peekaboo one, we've had just about the, the, the leaned up against the phone. Like, it's, it's yours, so you can do yeah. whatever you like. It's your photo, your set. That will look good, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Amazing. Oh, wait. I feel like it's not going to work for me. Okay, okay. we'll do a two more already. The good thing is, this camera takes the best photos. Yeah, I still find, I, I totally agree with you, except for when I'm in the old boomerang, uh, think of it. Okay, so I'll count three. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> that worked. Yeah, that worked perfectly. <laughs> okay, cool, that's good. <laughs> that well worked. done, thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Worst comes to worst, you can always rely on a boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Boomerangs are always safe. So in here we're going to show you some of the new safety security features of the phone. Okay. Um, around the room there's different QR codes. So we encourage you to have a little bit of a scavenger hunt. Grab your phone, find the QR codes, and I'll explain some of the features and functions of that QR code. Alright. And again, the set is yours. Take a seat, we'll take photos, we'll do whatever you like. <laughs> I feel Apart like this, this kind of thing would end badly if I tried to take a photo yeah. in it. We've had a uh, one capsize on land, so we don't encourage people to jump right. in, the, in the canoe. Okay, cool. It's not a good dog. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out vlogging and doing a uh, scavenger hunt isn't as easy as it looks, so I'm going to prop the camera there and try and find some QR codes. Sort of blew a few seconds to just realize that you meant fishing with a pH, not like yeah. <laughs> you're like you fishing somewhere, and I'm like, and because we're talking about being in the outdoors, I'm like, I don't go fishing that much, but sure, okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Like, I don't really need this <laughs> <laughs> well done! <laughs> I cracked the very difficult code um, and it's full of Tim Tams which I'm really excited about. Are you sure I can have one? Yes, you can have more than one. No. <laughs> I, I can't have one on my own, you guys need to take some too. People take one for the There we are, take one. You sure? Okay, we're going to the beach. So in here we're going to show you how you can use your phone on the go, uh, some of the battery features and network features. Um, again, each stand has a, well, has a few QR codes. Yep. Get in there, explore, I'll explain all the features and functions of the phone when you find the QR code. Cool. Is there a QR code here? 
Oh, there's two. <laughs> I always feel like I wish you had made them harder so I just feel so bad about how hard <laughs> Well, this one actually has one tricky one. Yeah. Okay. So we'll let you figure that one out. Okay. I'll get it down. Yep. Three, two, one. Good. Cool. Yeah. It's gotten dark again. Oh, I've just realized I've lost my sunnies on. <laughs> Taking the sunnies off because we're leaving the beach and we're entering a tram. This is all very Melbourne of us, even though we're currently in Sydney. I'm taking a long time to go around all these different setups because I'm trying to vlog and listen and play and learn all at the same time. But we are now in the Google Mobile Movie Maestro setup which as Rob slash Ben just told me <laughs> is all about the awesome or fantastic quality screen on the Google Pixel 5 and it will adjust to the light so if you're going through a tunnel or if you're in a bright space to a dark space the picture quality stays amazing and you can enjoy all your HD content um, in, on the beautiful screen. I hope I did that justice, Rob slash Ben. <laughs> I realise that I don't know how I'm going to convey all this in a vlog, so I'm going to try and talk to camera a little bit as well, but it's very cool. Without going to the QR codes, I'm going to guess that one is Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Yes, maybe? No? And Hugh and Nicole fall in love in NT. I'm going to guess that it's Australia. <laughs> I'm glad I knew that because I would have felt really bad if I didn't. <laughs> if you go on, I would have been like, oh, Rachel, oh no. no. <laughs> we just say, hey, Google, lights on the server and it will go there. See, I, pretty amazing. I do yeah. this. People who watch my videos for a long time will know that that was my favorite part about Christmas last year was that I'd got a Google Home Hub for the first time and I set up my Christmas tree so that I could say hey Google turn on the Christmas tree and my Christmas tree lights would turn on it was it was seriously the thing that I was most excited about out of everything but the problem is that anytime I was editing that video I'd go back and watch that video even now it sets up everybody else's Google help assistance and it, it's very frustrating because it, there's no Christmas tree. I'm like, I know there's no Christmas tree, but it's coming back this year. It's coming back. Are you familiar with Google Jira? No. So it's our video calling. Oh, okay. Yeah. So at this point in time, obviously it's hard to keep in contact with everyone. I have family and friends in other states. Yep. So with this, it allows you to video call them. One okay. thing I love is the family feature. So I have nephews up in Queensland. We play games like Lords of Crosses, we put filters on, we just have a little bit of fun. So it's really engaging for the young ones. Um, and the great thing about doing this with business mm -hmm. or with anything really, is you can mirror your uh, screen to anyone else that's connected to the phone call. All you need to do is press the screen mirror button. What that will do is show any content that you have on your phone. If we tap this button here, let's give it a little bit of a tap. All right. I've got a heavy foot, I always send it there. Was that enough? A little bit more. There we go. Oh, there we go. Cool. So Nightside <laughs> is standard now, uh, built into the portrait mode on the selfie. All right. So you don't need to actually turn that on. So as soon as you put into uh, selfie and portrait, it will detect the low light. Okay. And then uh, automatically turn on Nightside. Okay. Yeah. I'm in portrait mode. And then turn it on to selfie. All right. That's right. It's not on selfie. Well done. Yep. Okay. So see on the bottom right? Oh, yeah. Yep. So that means night sight is on. Oh, I just realized that I'm holding the camera in the direction that you, you can't see what I'm looking at. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. No, you could totally have said something. <laughs> this two camera thing is it's, it's hard work. <laughs> no, no, it's perfect. <laughs> You're subscribing to me and you're like, wow, I love this new content she has. Yeah. Okay, so. We'll never be in <laughs> Before my battery dies, let's just show you me the reason why Rachel will never walk the catwalk. <laughs> but the content that it films is really cool. <laughs> Alright, and that's called cinematic, cinematic pan. pan. Awesome. We've just finished up in here, but I wanted to share all the really cool sets 
because it was a great way to learn about the Pixel 5 and all its amazing features. And Ben <laughs> slash Rob has been an amazing guy. His name is really Rob, I promise, and I am aware of that, but I'm just, I'm really enjoying calling him Ben at this point in time now. Well, Rachel, I hope you enjoyed your experience. It's been lovely. Have I you did. Been. Thank you so much. Fingers crossed, I make it home without getting lost. It was really fun. I really enjoyed that. And Rob was an awesome leader and it was great to meet Hannah in person and yeah, had a really nice afternoon. It was a fun adventure and I learned a lot about the Google Pixel 5 and all its features. Oh my God, and best bit, I just remembered, I have a Tim Tam for the way home. Ah, it's the little things in life, but chocolate always makes me happy. I'm back once again at home. I just quickly scoffed down some dinner while the battery was charging and now I'm going to just do a couple of like my evening chores that I need to do, maybe check my work emails again and then turn in for the night. But I didn't want to leave you hanging without sort of at least rounding off today. I'm really not sure what I actually filmed and obviously you will have already seen it, but I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Oh, and before I take it off, I just, in case somebody was wondering, this little jumpsuit that I have on is actually from Target. It's from the Lily Loves section. I got it last summer though, so I don't think it's out. And then this belt is old. I think it was my mum's. And these shoes are Spur from the Iconic. Again, I've had them for a little while, but we were asked to wear color, so. This is about the most colorful thing that I own at the moment. It is very comfy for summer. It's nice and breezy. I'm sure you can tell from that clip that I'm in no way a um, fashion blogger or vlogger or Instagram. I'm just not cool enough when it comes to um, fashion for that. Hello again, it is Sunday morning and I've just gotten back from my usual Sunday morning run. I am definitely not a runner, <laughs> that is for sure, but over the last few months, I've been trying to progressively have a crack at running, I guess. Um, my goal was to get to be able to run. And when I say run, I mean like a fast jog, really. But consistently fast jog slash run 10 kilometers without having to stop. Because that's just something that I've never been able to do ever. Not even close. Like I used to 500 meters or 400 meters was a struggle. So... I've been progressively working towards that, not following any kind of program, just doing what I can, trying to run a little bit more each time or doing like breaks where I kind of run and then walk and then run and then walk. And I've kind of slowly worked up. I have done the 10 Ks once. Uh, it was tough, but I just one day I was feeling really good and I just managed to, to do the 10 kilometers, which was really exciting. I wouldn't say I can run 10 kilometers because I feel like doing it once doesn't mean you can do it. So by the end of the year, I want to sort of be able to do it relatively consistently. That's my goal. I don't really want to push any further than that. I'm not trying to be a long distance runner. I just would like to feel like I have enough fitness to be able to to run that if or when I wanted to or needed to. So that's what I did this morning. I only did seven, just over seven Ks today and then walked the rest because I've hurt my ankle. I hurt it four weeks ago now and it's still not healed, which is really frustrating and it's probably my fault, which is kind of why I haven't answered a lot of questions about running. I've had a lot of people say, can I talk about it? Can I share what I've done? And to be honest, I have zero education in this area at all. I probably haven't been doing things the right way. I've just sort of done what's working for me and I can certainly share that, but I can't really give advice on how to get into running because I, yeah. I've got no background, so listen to the experts or follow one of those apps like the Couch to 5K app, things like that, I think would definitely help. And I think the elliptical helps as well because obviously that's kind of, that's definitely building up my cardiovascular fitness and I can easily do sort of 11Ks on that going quite fast and with a decent resistance. So I think that's helped with my running as well. And I've just realized that I'm kind of puff talking because I've only just come back. I have about a kilometer, a kilometer and a half walk home to cool down. But um, yeah, I tend to be puffed for the rest of the day after it. I still haven't edited the footage completely from the event. So I'm not really sure how long that part of the video is going to be. And also, I don't really know how interesting that part of the video is going to be. But I wanted to show you guys what an event 
was like because I thought that maybe some of you were curious about the behind the scenes kind of stuff so that's obviously first today I'm thinking about going to Ikea so I thought I could vlog that maybe I realized how sickly I look post right god anyway the reason I turned the camera on pre-shower rather than post was because I wanted to show you my shorts I feel like we've talked about shorts a lot recently on my channel but I know that when I was doing that organization of my workout where I spoke about getting some shorts from Cotton On and they came in and I ended up keeping one particular style which is this one. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see but the fabric is like a ribbed, it's a ribbed fabric. It's high-waisted which I like. Very few things that say they're high-waisted are actually high-waisted on me. I have a long torso so things that say they're high-waisted often either come underneath my belly button which is there or like just sit on it and then move down which I hate whereas these fully cover my belly button even when they move they don't come down they come up really high which I appreciate they have the pocket right there which is long enough to fit my iPhone 11 Pro Max which is the biggest phone I've got or my Google Pixel 4 XL both of them fit in there which I think is great it means it's I can run with it in there it doesn't fall out feels really comfortable they're long enough that they I feel like they cover enough of what I want to cover plus even when they they move a little bit when I run but not so much you'd probably be like that much so they're not they don't suddenly become booty shorts and you feel like you've got to pull them out of your butt while you're running so I just wanted to give a recommendation of those I will link these exact ones in the description box I'm in the medium and they fit really well if anything I could probably almost squeeze into the small in the waistband but then it wouldn't be great for my hips so this these are really really great highly recommend if you're looking for some bike shorts to walk or run in this is also from cotton on it's just a new kind of shirt if I can find it on the website I'll link that as well I think it was only like $14 or something like that but great for running in and then my sports bra is from baseline the um ashy binds brand but yeah, more shorts talk. <laughs> I'm feeling much more fresh now. It's amazing the healing properties of a good shower. I even managed to wash my hair and then I did all my vegetable prep while my hair was drying and now I'm about ready to go. I'm just pulling my stuff together, but I wanted to show you guys something. How adorable is this little screensaver from um, Google? On the Pixel 5, you can get a bunch of different screensavers that are made to incorporate the camera. So this is a little camera up there. So it's the whole idea is to make it look seamless. So you can't actually see the camera because it's hiding in a ball. And then it's these cute little puppies. I just, I love it. I love how they've done that. And there's a whole bunch of different ones that basically use the camera as part of the whatever picture it is. So it looks like it's just one complete um, bevelous edge to edge display. I thought that was really cute. And the fact that it's orange, it just feels very Halloween-like, even though it's got nothing to do with Halloween. I'm also grabbing one of these to take with me to snack on. Ikea, here we come. I can't remember the last time I've actually been to Ikea. I think it was almost two years ago. I don't think I came last Christmas, so I think it was probably around this time the year before last that I was here. I may have made a slight tactical error, but because this is probably one of the most busiest times to come and I can see that there's a bit of a lineup, but hopefully it, you probably can't see it, but yeah, hopefully it won't move too slowly. I don't really have anything else going on today, so I don't mind. I kind of want to check out the Christmas stuff. That's the main reason I'm here. Plus, I mean, the new catalog has launched since, or two new catalogs have probably launched since I was here, but definitely the new one for this year. So I'm going to try and see if I can spot any other new products. I don't really need anything, but I may come out with some shopping. Who knows? The wait was only about six minutes, so it's really good. Now I'm inside. This is the eucalyptus I use on my tree. Fairly inexpensive per little piece, and you can chop it up. If you want to add eucalyptus to your Christmas tree, IKEA is the place to go.
this is one of the relatively new-ish furniture pieces. I actually looked at this and thought it would be good makeup storage. I like how it's got multiple small-ish drawers. They don't, aren't super shallow, but like it's good to stand up foundations, I guess. If you've got a, I don't know, a decent makeup collection or you could put I don't know, photography gear or art supplies. I just I think it's a nice piece. I did consider getting this for my guest bedroom and maybe one day I will. It's also in like a darker grey colour. That's the one I've seen before. I haven't seen this taupey grey colour before. And you could always change out the handles too if you wanted something different. I just thought it was a nice piece. $4.49. I'm in the kids section and I'd actually seen these online. I thought they would make a really good present. I'm actually considering getting these for some of my friends' kids for Christmas. But it's like a little carry case with a hard board so you can put like pens and pencils and colouring in pencils and things like that. And then there's actually like a little clip underneath here so you can have paper clipped in and they can, you know, draw on the go when you're out at a restaurant or, you know, anywhere where you kind of need to keep kids entertained. That was really handy. Yeah. $20 I think for that and then they have different bits that you can add to it pens and crayons and markers and things like that if you have kids let me know is that a good idea or not I think it was really clever I wouldn't mind one of those to keep me entertained sometimes I'm actually gonna gra grab a trolley for once just in case I decide to get a bunch in the market hall which is where I am now They have some little tiered tray options if you like to decorate that way or if you're hosting a gathering. Oh, I spotted these online. I think these are relatively new too. These little like, shoe holders. I considered getting these. I didn't really measure and I should have. Maybe I'll have to measure and come back. But there's two styles and you can kind of you slot one shoe there and one shoe there. And I have trouble organizing my shoes. So I thought maybe that these could work. I think these are the cheaper version. These are a little bit more solid and they cost a little bit more they're five dollars each and i think yeah these are two dollars each oh they're funky like an old-fashioned tabletop lamp that red color would be really nice at christmas time i don't think it's meant to be a christmas decoration but i could make it work i just spotted some big baskets that could potentially work as a christmas tree base depending on how big your christmas tree is we could always cut out the bottom maybe they're really funky I like them, they're more of a unique colour, they have a deeper, warm colour. I just spotted the Christmas tree print on the fabric and I know I showed this in a video I feel like years and years ago. I actually have one of these, I've never used it, but I think that if you don't have room for a Christmas tree or you want one in your bedroom, this would make a great just wall hanging. It's like 20 bucks, it looks like a tree, you could even put lights behind it, wouldn't require much doesn't take up any space by the wall. This could make a really nice tree skirt as well. Nice red chunky knit blanket. I spy Christmas. How festive is that? That looks so good. I love those little hanging lanterns. Oh, and these light up presents. Cute. Very sparse trees, but they can actually look quite cool if that's the look that you're going for. We've got more decorations. <laughs> They're adorable. And the little like gnome type people. I like those. I like that they don't have any snow on them. They're really nice. I think you can get a little set. Oh yeah, down here, little sets of three. Some little lighting options here. A little cloche with actual like, little fairy lights underneath it. But I just spotted there's that tree print, and like I said, they've put lights behind it. You could actually cut little holes and just pull the lights through. I love that. That is so good. More lights. These are pretty. Remind me of the rose gold stars I got from here years ago. They've also got tons of really nice wrapping stuff. Twine and these gorgeous bags. And we're gonna have to pull out some bits and pieces. We've even got these little like Hessian type sacks. 
that you could put presents in. It's a little bit more sustainable than wrapping paper. All right, I've grabbed myself a little bit of Christmas wrap and now I'm gonna line up and get out of here. I may be here a while. This guy's taken to fixing the gnomes because he's bored in line. I love it. Well, that was fun, but very busy. I kind of powered through the showrooms because it was really hard to social distance. Some people had masks. I probably should have put my mask on at that point. So I kind of spent the most time really in the market hall section, but that was also really busy as well. So I will show you guys what I got when we get home. But for now, I think I'm just going to head there. There are a bunch of like stores around here. It's a big like homemaker center, but I'm kind of buggered. Don't really feel like wandering around those. I think I'm just gonna head home. Have a chilled afternoon. All right, shall we try this? We're currently, oh man, you're propped on a box, which is wobbling a little bit. Um, we're on the floor of my second bedroom, which has come become a little bit of a decorative dumping ground at this point, because I've started to buy a bit of stuff for Christmas. You may be able to spot in the background. Actually, that white tub is for the Halloween decorations. I picked that up last week because I noticed that I bought more and um, my tubs that I had I already had three Halloween tubs and they were full so I picked up a fourth um, but that's what we're here for we're here for the Ikea of course I grabbed a new catalog because I have not actually seen the 2021 like 2020 2021 catalog whatever we would call this so I will peruse that later $89.45 I don't know how that happened because I went in there with needing nothing and somehow um, $89.45 later I got some stuff. So let's look at it together. I popped you up a little bit higher. Back to the Ikea haul. Three Vinter trees, 11 centimeters, 13 centimeters, and 15 centimeters. I'm not sure exactly what I plan on doing with these, but I feel like they're cute. We could make a little tree scape somewhere. I don't know. I also grabbed two of the larger size ones that you bought individually. This is Ikea 2015, which is interesting, but Anyway, they may be five years old or not, but I got some trees. I did end up grabbing one of those large glass bottles in, with the white little pattern on it. And then I decided as a second thought to get a, a second one, that, the smaller ones, because I really liked the color of this. It's, it's not quite a, it's a deep red kind of maroony color. So again, I don't know what I would do with these, but to be honest, you could use them as decor. You don't have to necessarily put drink in them. I might even just put water in them and have them in the fridge. Just festive way to store your beverages. So I really wanted to get some more of the bags that they had. The bags were stunning, but they seem to be all sold out. The only ones I managed to get was one of these like wine bottle ones, which I thought usually, or I think there might be two in this pack. Um, but these usually come in handy. <laughs> knocked myself out with them at Christmas time. And to be honest, I could use this anytime. The, the sort of craft paper with the gold is, you know, year round kind of thing. So I got that. I got some of this craft paper with the white color. So it's one's polka dots. One is kind of like, um, reminds me of cookies or baked goods. It gives you that gingerbread house vibe. So there's hearts and then there's one that's got a little bit more of a, a scene on it. Anyway, I thought that was cute too. And then to go with that, I got some of this Maroni purpley it's kind of like a deep red but it's, it's got a, a blue base to it definitely this again could probably be used year round the spotted one and the just plain and then there's this floral pattern that seemed to be in a lot of the bits and pieces that they had there this year so i thought they could look quite nice together and probably with a bit of gold as well and then I got two of these single rolls of this that integrates the red with that sort of more maroony tone. This has got a similar pattern. It's got the same motif that these bottles have on them. It kind of looks like a cross between a floral and a snowflake. Again, I just thought it was pretty. You know, wrapping paper is always handy. So I've got a whole bunch of that. And then to go with those... I do love a good twine moment. So I got the deep ready colored twine and then also a white and gold twine. So I'll kind of use that to wrap around the gifts. And I also grabbed a couple of these deep red and gold bows. I thought those were sweet as well. So that's my wrapping. I probably don't need to buy more wrapping this year. Although knowing me, I potentially will. I've seen some really nice stuff at Target and also at Kmart. So 
that may not be the end of my wrapping. And then the last thing I actually ended up grabbing was some of these shoe things. Um, I know I showed them at some point. I ended up going back and grabbing four of them just to see. They may be returned if they don't fit, but I thought it would be a good idea to bring them home and just see, play around in the space and see if they actually fit. So um, yes, I will definitely report back on those. I think that pretty much rounds out this video. I did plan on doing a bit more of a recap. I haven't edited any of the footage yet and usually as I film a vlog, especially one that's going to be quite long, so I know this one will be, I like to kind of edit it as I go so I know what I've said beforehand, I don't repeat myself and I kind of know where we are in the the general video, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet, so I have no idea how this video has gone, but hopefully at some point you found it interesting. Overall, I'm really enjoying it. I don't, I'm not paid to say any of this. I am gifted the phone as part of being on Team Pixel and I get to, you know, go to events to do with the launch. I get to learn about the product, but I'm definitely not paid or forced to say anything about that. And overall, I, I think that they're a really great phone, particularly for the price. I think that they seem to be very innovative in what they do, but also listening to customer feedback, listening to some of the changes that they've made from say the Pixel 4 to the Pixel 5, taking into account features that people did use and didn't use. So they might've actually taken features away from that had, that were in Pixel 4 to Pixel 5 because they just weren't useful and instead replaced them with other things that were more useful to people, which I, I think is a good way to be when it comes to a tech company. I go back and forth between, I'm now using the Pixel 5, but I go back and forth between my Pixel phone and my iPhone. For me, that is just because I've had an iPhone for a very long time. I happen to have an Apple Watch. I have an Apple Music subscription, which I know I must be one of the few people in the world because everybody else uses Spotify. And if you do use Spotify, it's very easy to actually go from an Android, well, from an iOS phone to an Android phone. I actually find with this one that if you were looking to switch, I found it really easy to pick up the Android system. A lot of the gestures and just things in general are very similar to um, an Apple phone or the iOS interface. So if you can use one, you can certainly use the other. I found I do tend to pick up things quite easily when it comes to systems and tech. I, I, I do find it easy to learn new things, but I would still say that even if you don't, it would be easy to jump from one to the other. I do really rate the Pixel camera, the special features, that like panoramic cinema or sorry, cinematic pan feature that um, we're starting to see there. And I've shared a little bit on my Instagram. Things like that are really fun. And I feel like everybody's a creator these days. It's not just, now that, you know, it's not just YouTube, you have Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. And there's so many different things where people create content that the everyday person is a content creator. It's not just limited to people that are full-time YouTubers anymore or things like that. Like, you know, it's awesome to have a camera on your phone that is catering to that and giving you these really cool features that you can do these cool shots with and, you know, the night sight and the portrait mode and all that kind of thing really makes it easy for any person to pick up a phone and create content, whether it be for themselves or whether it be for social media or to share and to share with the public or family, whatever. So the Pixel 5, from what I can tell, has everything that a person would need. I mean... The majority of time I feel like the camera is key and the camera on this is great. So, I mean, it, it obviously makes calls and text messages and stuff like that, which you know every phone does, but it's the other things that you want. You can get most of your apps on here, the ability to transfer to and from um, old phones to new phones. It's really easy to do with the Pixel. I'm trying to think what else. It's secure. It's beautifully designed. Like the screen is probably the best that I've seen just because of that not having a notch or any kind of bevel on it. It's really pretty. And the price, what you get for the price of this phone is is awesome. So if you're definitely on a budget, I would be looking at the, the Pixel range of phones from Google because you really aren't gonna feel like you're shortchanged in any way when you use this phone. So that's my, my two cents on it, <laughs> my rambly two cents. I think that's going to be the it for this video because um, oh, I just spotted something in the background I was going to show you guys. Let's just pick you up. You can see I've got a little bit more Christmas. So let me just quickly show you this stuff just because I know it sells out. I did pick up some more picks from 
Kmart. So I got some of these berry picks, which I really like. I feel like they've improved them this year. You get two for $5. Last year, they kind of had some silver and glitter, whereas I feel like this year they look a lot more realistic. There's just a little bit of flocking on them. So I got some of those. I also grabbed some of the ones that I've had in the past, the white berry ones with the eucalyptus. You'll definitely see all this in some Christmas decorating videos, but I also managed to grab the beaded garland, which for $5, I know that this will be super popular, also from Kmart, so get it if you see it and you would like it. And then you might have spotted this too in the background. It's this little sleigh. This is actually from Target. And again, another really popular item. I think this was $30, but it's very, very cute. One that I would suggest if you spot it and you would like it, grab it because they will sell out. This basket, by the way, is also from Kmart. It's currently holding some other bits and pieces that I have for Christmas. I've got some little shirts here that are potentially for a family gift. So if my family's watching, please skip on by. Um, I don't think they really watch my videos, so that's okay. But yeah, that's, that's corralling a bunch of new Christmas stuff. So I'll probably show you guys that in my next vlog, whenever that is. I'm really gonna go now. I hope you're all doing well. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any or check me out on Instagram. It's just at Rachel Jade. I share a bit more regularly there so you can, you know, come say hi there. But yeah, I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.